people ask me to describe my mum, I used to think that she was the underside of the bunk bed I slept in as I was growing up. I would always talk to her, especially after I came back from a long day at school. <sighs> Hi, mummy! Oh, you know, today was quite nice, actually. I, I did a lot of English, but I had loads of fun with my friends. And you know how it was raining today? Uh, I, saw, I, saw, I saw loads of these puddles, and there was one that was filled with tadpoles. And, oh, it was so cool. You should have seen it. Bye, mummy. Or when I would come back from a really intense football match. Oh my gosh, mommy, that was one of the craziest football games I've ever had in my life! I was, I was playing as a midfielder, right? And then Shogun was trying to get the ball for me, and I was like, nah, -uh. and then I did one of the craziest nutmegs ever! I was like, whoa, 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 and then he came up to me, and he was like, oh, I was so shocked, and it was so crazy, oh my gosh! Um, bye, mommy! Or when I come back home after someone made fun of me. You know, today on the bus, Eden came up to me and she was laughing at me, saying how I'm always sad and lonely because I don't have a mum. My mom died when I was seven. However, I like to think that she's still somewhere looking down on me. When I was seven, I saw her in my bunk bed. Of course, as I grew up, I learned to realize that you don't have to be anywhere to be everywhere. And of course, to this day, I still talk to her. Once I found comfort in knowing that my mom was still watching me, I don't think my family felt the same. For example, my dad would always come into my room, sit next to me on the bed, and he would just weep. going to do that. Sometimes I would even go right up to my bed, get down on my knees, put my arms up like this, and just pray to God, to Jesus, to mum, just looking for a sign.
Funny thing is, I'm not even religious. Over the years, I learned that the best way for me to connect with my mum is to just sit down wherever I am at that time and just talk to her. Hey, mummy. Crazy how it's been 10 years since I've last seen you. I've done everything I can do. I've done anything I can do to find you. It's like you're here, but you're not here. There's nothing to prove that you are here. There's nothing to prove that you're not. So, are you are you in my in my in my, in my bed? Are you in the weather? Are you in heaven or, or in my heart? I don't know. And I keep convincing myself that I'm, I'm over it. I, I keep telling everyone it's fine. I, I've moved on. But I haven't. I just... I just need a sign. A, a definitive sign that you're still somewhere on this earth or maybe in some different plane of existence looking down on me, protecting me because I'm scared, okay? Because life is scary. I don't know what to do and you were supposed to protect me and now you're not here anymore. So what am I supposed to do? I just want a sign from you. I just need a sign, okay?